weather alert. Hello, you're watching Sky News weather. As predicted, unprecedented rain has fallen over southeastern Australia. Now, we were expecting from this event would break some December records. While well, the rain has been even heavier than expected, we have broken all-time records through parts of Victoria over the past 24 hours. Here's some of the higher 24-hour rain totals. Mount Wombat in the northeast corners had 184 millimetres of rain. Strathbogie in the north, 165 millimetres in the 24 hours to 9 a.m. That breaks the all-time record for any month of the year for rainfall. We've also had records broken at Lake Eildon and also at Chuka, well over 100, year, uh, 100 millimetres of rain and well over 100 years worth of data at these sites. So these are long, stand, uh, long, long time records which we have broken. As a result, we have some major flooding along the ovens and the King Rivers. That includes the city of Wangaratta, where they're expecting the major flood level to be reached on Saturday night. Also a major flood warning for the Severn and the Castle Creek, which is just to the west of the ovens and Kings Rivers. For New South Wales, a major flood warning has been issued for the Murray Bidji River. We also have a flood watch in place for most of northern and eastern Victoria and also the central, western and southern part of New South Wales with further river flooding likely to develop over the next uh, 24 hours. We do have major flooding in these areas. There are numerous rivers that also have minor to moderate flood warnings in place just at the moment. Along with the risk of river flooding, we also have severe flash flooding occurring from this rain. For Victoria, a warning is in place for flash flooding for all districts apart from the southwest and the Wimmera. And Melbourne is just on the edge of that warning area. So roughly to the west of Melbourne, we've seen those areas taken out of the flood uh, the warning for flash flooding. For New South Wales, there's a severe weather warning for the southern inland for flash flooding. There is also a severe thunderstorm warning in place for damaging winds and flash flooding for the northern inland. I'll get to the radar shortly. This is all due to this deep low that sits over southeastern Australia. This low has developed due to a clash of air masses. Warm tropical air has moved down from the north. It's been building over southeastern Australia the past few days. That's clashed with cold air from the Southern Ocean. The result is a deep low. Now that low is moving away to the south and that's good news because the heaviest rain is near the low. As that low moves away tonight, the rain will ease back. On our satellite, we can see there's a band of cloud associated with this system. You can always make out the circulation, but the band of cloud does extend well north from the low along the trough of low pressure. We're seeing widespread showers and storms through western New South Wales and western Queensland. As a result, for South Australia, the heaviest rain has passed to the east. We're only seeing light showers in that area today. Uh, some showers are around Adelaide, so that will affect the first day of the second test and storm clouds across the north. Let's get to these radars. You can see for Melbourne, it wasn't raining last night. The rain then returned overnight. The heaviest falls through the northern and the eastern suburbs of Melbourne. But where you have the darkest echo on the radar, that shows the torrential rain across the northeast ranges. And that's the area where we broke the records. But here is some good news. Clearly, you can see the rain has actually temporarily cleared in many parts of central Victoria. We still have some rain falling through the east of the state. It's not as heavy as it was earlier. Now, we're expecting rain to redevelop through these uh, areas, through the central area later this afternoon or tonight. So Melbourne, it's not over yet. You'll probably still get some reasonable rain. And that is why there's still a severe weather warning for flash flooding that extends through the central part of Victoria. But for now, the rain has eased off. Let's go further north. Uh, early this morning, we've had widespread showers and storms through southern New South Wales and a band of storms along that trough extending through the central inland. Now, this is where we have the warning in place for this band of storms we can see on the radar on the western side of the ranges. And also there's lightning in the far west. That area isn't covered by radar. There's no radars in that area, but from that lightning, you can see where we are seeing the good falls. So a warning for flash flooding, damaging winds. Here are some of the totals since 9 a.m. yesterday. Uh, Cobar, 28 millimetres. That's up to 9 o'clock this morning, I should say. Wilcannia, 41. Huge falls through the Riverina Central West, over 50 millimetres. Parks, Griffith, Albury close to 50, Ivanhoe had over 70, and then we had Falls Creek over 100, Mount Buller over 130, Melbourne 21, Monbolk was the wettest suburb of Melbourne, just over 50 around Mount Dandenong. So huge falls through that northern part of Victoria, and as I mentioned, uh, Lake Eildon, Strathbogie, Echuca, over 100 millimetres and all-time records. Let's get to the forecast rain. So there's our low sitting near the New South Wales Victorian border right now. It is heading towards the southeast and it's taking the heaviest rain with it. You can see though tonight we're still going to see rain in that central part of Victoria. So even though it's not raining on the radar now, it should return to Melbourne. But then for Western Victoria, only light showers. And there's not too much there for South Australia. Showers for Tasmania, especially through the northeast corner of the state. With that low pushing offshore though, the rain will continue to ease back on Sunday. These are the totals we expect on Saturday. Widespread 50 to 100 millimetres, Eastern Victoria southern New South Wales. A lot of that's already fallen though over the past few hours. For Sunday, clearly you can see the rain has eased back, but still widespread falls of up to about 25 millimetres eastern Victoria and southern parts of New South Wales. So huge falls on the way. Now also severe storms likely through western Queensland today along this trough of low pressure and we're just seeing light showers for the coastline. The heavy rain in western Queensland, it will push to eastern parts of Queensland on Sunday. 
I'm going to wrap it up there for now. But if you require the assistance of the SES during this flooding, their number's on screen, 132500. And remember, under no circumstances, attempt to travel through floodwaters. It only takes 15 centimetres of water on the ground to lose control of your vehicle.